In our recent video about the top 10 most undervalued supercars, everybody asked us for a list of budget supercars. And you know what? I am a firm believer in this. You gotta start somewhere. Uh, I think the first time I bought anything special, I financed it with $20,000 down, $18,000 down, uh, and, and made my way up to what I have now. And it was a long road. Uh, but you've got to start somewhere. So I am going to give you my top five favorites. And this is sort of like a hybrid list, but let's start with number one. Now, I actually owned one of these cars, and I wish I never sold it. At the time, I needed the money, um, but we got this incredible deal from Eddie Van Halen before he passed away. And when we purchased his Mura, we also purchased two Audi R8 manuals that he owned. One was a V8, one was a V10. Um, I absolutely love the V8 car. Now, I know everyone's going to destroy me over this. How dare you, sir? I think the V8 car, it just revs so quick. It's so nimble. Uh, it's not too powerful where you feel like you're going to get in trouble. Uh, and it's not slow either. Um, so I love the car. I love the way uh, that manual shifts. The downshift on the V8 is a complete blast. Uh, from third to second. And I think those cars are just so undervalued. They don't break, they look incredible. They've actually aged very well. And I think there's a lot of bang for the buck with any R8 manual. The next one is going to be basically the exact same car, but it didn't come with a V8. It's the Gallardo manual. Now these early generation Gallardo cars uh, were known for basically having bad engines, but basically as the factory uh, you know, evolved the Gallardo engine, those cars became bulletproof. And I think manual Gallardos in general, there's probably less than 300 cars that came to the US. They represent a massive, massive value. I mean, they sell today anywhere between $100,000 and $150,000. Yes, the more rare variants, the later cars like a Super Legera or, or the 50th anniversary, they sell anywhere between $300,000 and $500,000. But these early, just regular cars, which are still rare, they present a huge value. They're fun to drive. Um, I think one of the best driving experiences I've ever had was a Gallardo 50th anniversary, the two-wheel drive car. It's just absolutely a blast. So I think these cars are super undervalued. Car number three, I, I don't think you can go wrong. People hated the look of the 996 for years with those headlights, but I really believe the 996 is just a workhorse and they are so iconic looking for a generation. I think a 996 turbo manual, while prices have started to go up, I think they're still undervalued. They look great, they're super fast, they're comfortable, they do everything right. And in my opinion, the 996 and 997 are really the last generations of 911s that feel like a nimble, small car. The new 911 I love. Uh, I actually personally drive a new 911 now, but the new 911 is just, it's a big luxury car in many ways. So I am a huge fan of the 996 and 997 cars. I think the 997 manuals have gotten very expensive. Um, I think they still have a ways to go because they're that much more rare, but I think there's still a huge value in a 996 turbo manual today. I am going to classify this next category as sort of anything cool or rare from AMG or Rentec. When you think about cars like a CL65 AMG, a SL65 AMG, an E55, uh, you know, all of the Rentec cars created, these cars are all selling for under $100,000 today. And, and I think there's so much value there when you're talking about cars that have anywhere from 500, 400, 600 horsepower, um, and they're just comfortable, they're fast. Now, I will say some of the AMG cars are not the most reliable. The CL and the SL are definitely known for their issues with the suspension, the, you know, I could go on and on, the SL with the top. The E55s are incredibly bulletproof. The CLK55, incredibly bulletproof. And I think there's so much value in these cars today. Uh, you know, the, the CL65 are very, very rare. The 0506 cars, SL65 the same. Even an E55 wagon, incredibly rare car. Uh, that was definitely a shout out to Steven, who I know appreciates that. Um, but, but they are very, very cool cars, and I think the Rentec cars are even way cooler because they were hand-built cars. Rentec, uh, you know, the, the evolution of AMG as a tuning company. Hartmut was one of the original engineers. So I think those are really special cars and undervalued today.
So when you look at the Ferrari market, uh, manual transmission cars have gone insane. The price of 575s, 599s, 430s have gone absolutely nutty. And even 355s have also taken off as well. Now, I love 355s, but the biggest problem with 355s are their maintenance costs. To, to basically change the timing belts, which is every five years, you have to actually drop the engine. It's a massive service. During that time, you should do the water pump, you should do the idler, you should do the valve cover gaskets. They're just getting very expensive to maintain. And what I love about the 360 is you don't have to pull the engine to do the timing belts. Very easy to do. You move the front seats up, there's a little access panel, and you can do the timing belts. Uh, and they're just really bulletproof cars. Now, the 360 Spiders, the tops can be a little bit, I, I would say, uh, temperamental, but a 360 Coupe, they run forever. You could drive them forever. The service costs are pretty low, uh, and they're just so fun to drive. Years ago, when I first started, I had a little dealership, and I had, I think, one or two cars at the time. And one of them was a 360 manual coupe. It had a Capristo exhaust. One of the best sounding cars ever made. And I think between $100,000 and $150,000 today, it's a lot of car for the money and they're pretty reliable. Thank you guys again for watching. If you are looking for a budget supercar and it is your first, keep the faith, save your money. You can do it. Trust me, I was there as well. Uh, I reached out to every bank when I got denied because of my credit and all these different things. You will make it happen. I believe in you. If you're in school, stay in school. If you're working, bust your butt and, and just stay focused. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a ton more content coming. Write what you want in the comments. Uh, you are an inspiration to me every day and we love having your input.